peace of Christ to you all. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God. This is three o'clock. Today prayer we have to pray for prosperity of all kinds, both financial prosperity and also prosperities of all kinds. Then we are going to also pray for deliverance of hardship, deliverance of a hard life, so that God can help us. We are online again. I know God will not disappoint us. Please don't fail to join us. Being life with us is far, far better than you praying the prayer later. Being life with us, it helps God to know your problem instantly. Because when you come to join us at the hour of this 3 a.m., your trouble, your problems might be revealed instantly. I know that Jesus will help you by dying on the cross of Calvary. I know it will never fail you or disappoint you when you join us. Although, watch it later, you can still get your own blessings. You can still get your own breakthrough. Don't be tired. We'll begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Bless your family. Bless our nation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are going to pray with Psalm 126. Psalm 126. We be a part of our prayer point tonight. I know God will not fail you. There must be sacrifice to get something. I told you yesterday. I am not saying you should sacrifice your money. I am telling you to use your time as a sacrifice to get all that you are looking for. It's not too much to give to God. Your time, your sleep, sacrifice it for God. And God will say, this is my son. And this is my daughter. He will love you more than ever before. His love for you will be forever and ever. There are many of us who are experiencing a hard life. It's affecting everybody in this earth, in this our present day. Nobody is free from it. That is why we have to pray to destroy it. So that that hard life will leave us all. No one can come out and knock their chest and say, I am not suffering. I am not part of this difficult life. Nobody is free. No one. So we have to pray for God to see us through. It's my prayer that God will hear your prayer tonight. And hear my prayer tonight. Please, our prayer is not too long. Less than 20, 30 minutes we are done. Please. And today on, I don't think you will get up to 30 minutes. As small as that time, I know you will testify. Psalm 126. When the Lord brought us back to Jerusalem, it was like a dream. That is how many of you will think when the Lord bless you. You'll be saying, ah, is it me? I thought I'm dreaming. Oh, am I dreaming? The Lord blessing will come upon you. It will dwell and fall upon you, upon your household upon your family. 
that none of you will see the Lord is not good. Rather, you begin to see the Lord is good. You look like a dream, just like what the Lord did to the Israelites. He set them free from Egypt, and they thought they were dreaming, but it was reality. That is how many of you will get your blessings, and will think that you were dreaming. It's real, my brother. It's real, my sister. The Lord did it for you. He did it for you. Verse 2. How we laugh. How we sang for joy. Then the other nation said about us. The Lord did great things for them. That's how people are going to say. Ah, the Lord has done great things for you. See the way you are singing for joy. See the way you are singing for celebration. I pray for you tonight. As you hear my voice, people laugh at you. People thought the Lord will not save you. People said nothing good will happen to you. They will come and begin to celebrate. As you are dancing for joy, as you are jumping for joy, as you are shaking your body for happiness, may prosperity fall upon you. I declare upon your life, every spirit of a hard life, I cancel it out of your life. May you begin to dance for joy. I place the spirit of celebration upon you, the spirit of, of, of a greatness upon you, and I cancel every spirit of hard life over your body, over your life, over your family. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus Christ. He is God and he is able to do any miracle. For you. Indeed, he did great things for us. How happy we are. Indeed, the Lord has done great and marvelous things for us. And we will begin to celebrate for the great work he has done for us. Your celebration will never pass you by. In this hour of Three, that the occultic, the winches, the marine are doing their evil beauty. The Lord is going to break you out from their captivity, from their coven, from their cage. Anyone that has been tied into hard life, I break that yoke. I destroy that chain. I release you from that spirit of a hard life. May Lord God help us all. Lord, make us prosperous again, just as the rain brings water back to the dry, to dry river bed. Lord, make us prosper again. Make us be great again. Settle to us again. Give us that prosperity you used to give to us before we were in bondage. I pray for you tonight. May you prosper again. May prosperity locate you again. May the Lord take you higher. May the Lord destroy mountains of a hard life in your life. May it deliver you from that pains and sorrow, from that sickness and death, financial sickness. Lord, deliver them. Deliver us all. Let your blood come down and set us free from this hard life. Put testimony in our life, O Lord, and make us rejoice, and see your goodness, and see your love. Let those who weep as they sow their seed, gather the harvest with joy. May the seed you sow, may you begin to rejoice. May you begin to reap it. The seed you sow. I want to use your time that you are going to be spending with God every 3 a.m. every day as your seed. May it never become a waste in your life. May it never become a destruction in your life. May it break every barriers in your life. May every barrier, every chance that change you, 
may destroy them. May your seed of your time bring you from captivity, bring you from the hands of the evil one, and take you to light. May it break that darkness out of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who weeped as they went out carrying the seed will come back singing for joy as they bring in the harvest. May you come back. May you begin to sing. May you begin to dance for joy. May your harvest become rich. May you harvest your seed that you have sown. May the seed you planted never be uprooted, never be destroyed by weed. May your wheat never be uprooted or destroyed by weeds. May those around you continue to celebrate you. In the name of Jesus, I declare into your life, I decree into your family, may every hard life, may every spirit of the hard life, walking in your life, be uprooted by fire. In thy name of Jesus, I declare upon everything you do for a living. May that thing continue to prosper. May it continue to prosper. I declare over your business that you do for a living. May your business continue to prosper. I declare over your jobs. May your job may you continue to receive promotion. I declare over your education. May you call it to grow from higher to higher. May you never go down. I destroy every limitation over your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray upon anything good that you lay your hands. May you call it to prosper. May you call it to reap it. In the name of Jesus, I stand by the ocean of the Holy Ghost to declare over your life. And I decree over your family. May light continue to shine. May darkness never see your home. In the name of Jesus. I pray for every one of you. As the Lord bring the Israelites from, e from Egypt. And take them to the promised land. May it take you to the promised land. May it take you to the land of prosperity. May it take you to the land filled with honors. May take the land filled with greatness. May take the land filled with joy. May take the land filled with butter. In the name of Jesus, I pray for all those going under attacks, attack of poverty, attack of difficult life. May that attack be broken. May it be broken. May it be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. You that are watching me, experiencing different attacks, may that attack be uprooted from your life today. In the name of Jesus. May that attack be destroyed from your life today. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are great God. Holy Spirit, you are wonderful, God. Holy Spirit, we exalt you, Lord. Holy Spirit, we glorify you. Holy Spirit, you are wonderful, Lord. You are excellent, God. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, blessed be your name. Forever and ever, blessed be your name. Forever and ever and ever. Blessed
blessed be your name, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. May you be fruitful. May the Holy Ghost that came upon the apostle at the upper room. May it come upon you in prosperity. May it give you the garment of greatness, the garment of breakthrough, the garment of prosperity. I declare upon your life, prosperity shall follow you. In the name of Jesus. Pray with us every day at this time. And tell others, don't be weak. Don't be tired. I know our Lord will bless you. I know he bless you. The one that gave me the message to be doing this prayer every 3 a.m., I know he shall surely bless you. I believe and I trust in him because I know there's a reason for this. There's a reason why he brought this? There's a reason why he has us to do this. That reason, I know, is for our good. It's our love. It will surely bless you. Don't forget to tell others. You that have joined us, I pray for you. The time you spend will never be a waste. The Lord shall manifest it in your life. The Lord shall reign in your life. The Lord shall bless you. The Lord shall come upon you. The Lord shall dwell in you. As you join us every day, let God reign in your life and your entire family. That thing you seek for, that thing you are looking for, that thing you are expecting from God, I declare upon your life this morning, that thing shall come to reign in your life. No power of the evil forces can stop you. In the name of Jesus, as you join us, as you see this video, type amen. As many amen as you can type shall expand you from one level to the other level. As many amen you shall type in the comment section. It will take you from another level to a higher level. From higher level to the highest level. You are going to climb, going to climb until you get to a place where no one can stop you anymore. Jesus loves you. He loves you even more than you love him. Give him the opportunity to bless you at this hour which he has asked us, which he has commanded us to pray. Please, in any where you are, whether YouTube or Facebook, this prayer is going live instantly in the both channel. Live instantly. The same time with the YouTube and the same time with the Facebook is online. Please share it. And the YouTube is open at Christ Network. The Facebook is open at Christ TV. I know our Lord God will surely bless you. I pray for you all. May the Spirit of our Lord God come upon your life, come upon your business, come upon your household. Those Egyptians that goes after your finance, that is going after your life, I break that yoke. I destroy them by fire. May the power of the Holy Ghost that came upon Moses that he commanded Moses to set the Israelite free from that bondage. That commanded Moses to, to stretch this, the, the rod upon the Red Sea. May that the same power that destroyed the Red Sea, that turned into dry ground, may that power visit you. And may your Moses visit you to destroy the Egyptians into your life. In the name of Jesus, I speak to your life as your Moses that will bring you off your Egypt. From that hands of the Egyptians, I stand by that by, by that, that revelation. May all who goes after you go down for Jesus, and may their power be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Our Lord is good all the time. I pray for your household. Your testimony shall reign. I pray for your life. Your testimony shall reign. I pray for our nations. The testimony of our countries shall manifest in our life. Hard life shall disappear from us. May all you place your hands, may they be fruitful. May all good things you lay your hands, may they be fruitful. May you testify. May those who thought nothing good about you, may they come to begin to proclaim that the Lord has blessed you. May God help you. Help your family. Help our nation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Tomorrow is another day again. Please don't fail to join us. And don't fail to tell people. Time spending with God for 20 minutes or 30 minutes will never be a waste. And it will never be a waste. God bless you.